A new exhibit at ODU's Barry Art Museum has a very special robot on display. Yeah, it's interesting. It's designed to help hospitalized children, and it was created in memory of a Chesapeake boy who died from leukemia in 2019. News 3 reporter Angela Bohan introduces us to David's project. This antique doll, an automaton, has motion and sound. It's essentially a precursor to the modern day robot. But when you see it move, how does it make you feel? Are you intrigued or are you creeped out? This exhibit aims to explore the emotion with the motion. Fast forward to robots. Did you ever imagine the story of a robot would make you cry? To have him honored in this way in a device, I'm sorry. It's very humbling, but also we're very grateful um, because we get to maintain that continuing bond with him. Meet David 2.0, as David's mother tearfully calls it. The robot is named in memory of her son, David Carey, who died from leukemia when he was 13. David was treated at Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters, where nurse Tina Gustin brought in a robot more cryptic than this one they would just light up. And it was my aha moment that, my goodness, we've given them control. That by far was probably the most moving experience I've ever seen. ODU researchers say David's project would allow patients who are forced to be isolated in their hospital room to virtually stroll around the hospital. So the child can be in the room and by talking to the tablet, the voice will come on the robot. David's parents say he wanted to be an oncologist when he grew up. Though that's not possible, he will still be able to help sick children. It's timed perfectly to comfort us a little bit um, in knowing that his legacy is going to live on to help others, which he would have loved. In Norfolk, Angela Bohan, News 3.